اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کمیٹڈ مسلمز برادرز سسٹرز اینڈ چلڈرن ان اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی آر گو لک ایٹ دا کانٹینٹس آف دا سکسٹینتھ جوز اور دا سکسٹینتھ پارا اینڈ دیٹ کنسٹ آف سورہ القحف سورہ مریم اینڈ اے پورشن آف سورہ تاہا ناؤ وی آر آلریڈی یو نو سورہ سورہ القحف از آف کورس مینشنڈ ان اور consists of the um, 15th juz, part of it is in the 15th juz, but I deliberately left it so that we could begin in, in this um, uh, juz and explain its significance. Now, kahaf means cave, and actually the word cave is derived from the word kahaf, uh, the Arabic word. And this uh, surah takes its name from the story of the sleepers of the cave. Now, these were um, a group of Christians that were being persecuted in their own community. Of course, the Quran does not tell us exactly where this uh, community resided, uh, but uh, various historical accounts say that this may have been somewhere in Syria or whatever. But anyway, regardless of that, the story basically is this, that these uh, people that were Christians, and of course Christianity was uh, present at that time, this was way before Islam, that Uh, these the, the the surah takes its name from these people that that would uh, that had gone to sleep and they slept for uh, several hundred years now the way this this whole thing came about was that the makkan mushriks uh, thought that um, uh, of course they they didn't believe in the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and so they thought that if they go to uh, the jewish rabbis in medina who are people of the book and with whom the makkan mushriks had very good relations that if they ask them to pose certain questions to the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that maybe uh, he will not be able to answer uh, those questions. So the three questions that the rabbis uh, told the Makkan mushriks to pose to the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam were, number one, what is the story of the people of the cave? And number two, what is the story of the green man? And number three, what is the story of Zulqarnan? Of course, the Makkan Mushriks came to Makkah and they said to the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have three questions for you. And if you answer them, then we are going to accept your message. And these were the three questions. So the story of the cave, of the people of the cave is, of course, that these people that, that were put to sleep by Allah for about 309 years or so, and when they woke up, uh, they woke up from you know 309 years of sleep uh, and and of course when they went into town uh, you know once they had woken up they thought that they had only slept for about you know maybe a day or so and they were hungry now and they went into town to get some food and they had their old coins with them so when they went to uh, buy the food and gave that coin to one of the shopkeepers he was surprised to see these old coins because 300 years had passed and of course then all the people came and they saw these people and of course these people, the sleepers of the cave, went back to the cave and they went to sleep and of course they died because, you know, human beings don't live that long. <clears throat> now the second uh, uh, question, the story of the green man was that Musa alayhi salam had um, asked Allah whether there is anybody who has been given greater knowledge than him. And Allah said, yes, there is somebody that I've given more knowledge than you. So Musa alayhi salam uh, requested Allah to let him meet this person. And this person is called Khizr alayhi salam. Khizr, of course, in Arabic means green. Uh, now, and of course, Allah also reveals to Musa alayhi salam as to what are the signs uh, where you would meet uh, this uh, person. And that was at the confluence of two rivers. And so Musa alayhi salam tells his servant who is accompanying him that when we arrive at the confluence of the two rivers, you should remind me. But his servant, of course, forgets. And although uh, you know they are traveling and the, and the servant is carrying uh, the fish as food for them, by some miracle, the fish basically jumps out of the basket and goes into the river. And of course, they continue traveling. The, the servant doesn't realize that he has to tell Musa alayhi salam uh, that we have you know, reached that point. Anyway, much further away, Musa alayhi salam asked the servant to you know, bring me food. I'm hungry now. We have been traveling a lot. And then the servant realizes that he has lost the fish. So he tells Musa alayhi salam 
that I lost the fish at the point of the confluence of the two rivers and the fish just jumped into the sea. So they retrace their steps back and they come and that's where Musa alayhi salam meets Khizr alayhi salam. And Musa alayhi salam says to him that I want to accompany you. Khizr alayhi salam told him, no, you can't because you will not be able to understand what I'm doing and you will keep on asking questions. But uh, Musa alayhi salam promises that I'm not going to ask any questions. So he said, okay, on this condition that you will not ask any questions of whatever I do, whether you like it or you don't. So anyway, they start traveling. They get into, they come to a river, they get into a boat and Khizr alayhi salam starts to uh, break the boat and start to make holes on its in its side. And Musa alayhi salam is alarmed. He says, what are you doing? Why are you making holes? We are all going to drown. So Khizr alayhi salam told him, he said, didn't I tell you that you're not going to ask questions because this is not um, something that you will understand? So he said, okay, I apologize. I'm not going to ask any more questions. So they get to the other side. They keep going. And they come across a young boy. And Khizr alayhi salam kills the boy. And Musa alayhi salam is horrified. He said, what did you do? Why did you kill this boy? I mean, he had done nothing to you. He had committed no harm, nothing. And he's just an innocent person. So Khizr alayhi salam said, look, didn't I tell you not to ask questions? You don't know these things. And I'm not going to take you with me anymore. So he said, okay, please, I, I apologize. I'm not going to ask any more questions. So they go, they keep going, and now they've traveled a long time and they're very, very tired and hungry. They go into a town and they ask the people for some food. Uh, the people, of course, refuse to give them food. They say, get lost. They do, they're, they're bad people. So they come out of the town and there they, they see there is a wall that is crumbling. And Khizr salam begins to fix it and he straightens it. So Musa salam said, this is strange. I mean, these people are such terrible people. You know, this wall is crumbling and you fixed it up for free. They're, they're such poor, bad people. They wouldn't even give us food or water. So Khizr salam said, look, didn't I tell you not to ask me questions? And that's it. We are now going to part company. But since you had asked these questions, I'm going to give you the answers to each and every one of them. And he said, in the first case, in the case of the boat, it belonged to a poor man, but there was a cruel person on the other side who would take everything uh, good that uh, people had. So I damaged the boat so that the other person, when he sees that it's a damaged boat, it would not be of any use to him, so he wouldn't take it away from this poor man who earns a livelihood through this. With respect to the boy, I killed him because Allah revealed to me that when he grows up, he is, he's going to be very cruel to his parents. So Allah told me to take his life before that situation arises. And the third, with respect to the wall, there was a treasure uh, hidden by a father for his orphans in this wall. And if the wall had crumbled, obviously these people of the town would have taken that money and not given it to the orphans because they are young and they don't have the capacity to protect themselves. And you saw that these people of the town are bad people and therefore I you know, fixed up that wall. So at this point, uh, Musa alayhi salam, uh, Khizr alayhi salam told, um, uh, uh, told uh, Musa alayhi salam that um, uh, you, we have to part company. Now the third question was with respect to the story of Dhul Karnan. Dhul Karnan means the two-horned one. And he uh, went and met the people of Yajuj and Majuj. Of course there are different theories about Yajuj and Majuj. We are not going to get into this. But basically uh, Zulkarnain was able to build a wall of um, steel and um, uh, timber, etc., so that he could keep these cruel people away. But Zulkarnain, despite having these powers, was a humble man. He believed in Allah. And his story is narrated so that it would tell the Makkan Mushriks that even though Zulkarnain was very powerful, that he did not become arrogant. So although the three questions that the Makkan Mushriks had posed to the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were answered satisfactorily, but of course they still did not believe in the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and rejected his message. So the Quran repeatedly points out to people that reject Allah's uh, message that their hearts are sealed. It is not that what Allah is telling them has any flaws in Auzubillah and therefore uh, their conduct and their behavior is uh, unacceptable. In this uh, juz, in the 16th uh, juz, we also 
there is also the story, uh, the, the, the surah, Surah Maryam, which of course, as the name suggests, relates to uh, Maryam alayhi salam, who is the mother of uh, Isa alayhi salam, and who, as we had seen in Surah Ali Imran, that her mother had pledged that she would um, commit her uh, child, next child, to Allah's uh, care and Allah's worship. And of course, Maryam alayhi salam was born, and now Maryam alayhi salam spends her time in uh, worship all the time in the chambers. And Zakriya alayhi salam has been appointed her guardian. But whenever Zakriya alayhi salam comes to see her, uh, he finds that um, she always has, has food and provisions. And he asks her, he said, you know, where do you get this food from? You don't go out of this place. And she says, Allah provides this to me. So, of course, um, Zakriya alayhi salam, who is an old man, he prays to Allah uh, to give him an offspring in this old age. And Allah, of course, you know, fulfills his um, dua and gives him a, an offspring who, who is Yahya alayhi salam. And incidentally, both Zakriya alayhi salam as well as Yahya alayhi salam were killed by the rulers of the time and the people of the time in, in which they lived. This is one of those tragic uh, episodes in prophetic history. Now, while uh, Maryam alayhi salam is in the chamber, one day an angel comes to him in the form of a man. And the angel says to her that you are going to have a child. And of course, she is horrified. How can she have a child? When you know she said, you know, I seek protection in Allah. No man has touched me. How can I have a child? So the angel tells, tells her that whatever Allah wills, it is done. And so, uh, of course, uh, Maryam alayhi salam becomes pregnant with Isa alayhi salam. And then when uh, he is born and she comes back into town, the people point accusing fingers at her and uh, they say what have you done you know you, you have committed adultery and she points to the baby in in the in the cradle and uh, you know they say well how can this baby speak what can we do so the baby isa alayhi salam begins to speak and he says i am you know isa alayhi salam isa ibn maryam i'm i'm the son of maryam alayhi salam and allah has chosen me to deliver this message to you and of course, there are many miracles of Isa alayhi salam that are described um, in this surah, uh, Surah Maryam, as well as stories of Musa alayhi salam, Harun alayhi salam, Ismail alayhi salam, and Idris alayhi salam. And all of these uh, are uh, prophets who were sent to various communities to deliver the message of Allah to bring people to the righteous path. Now, there is also Surah Taha in this juz, uh, and and Taha, of course, is one of the um, uh, titles of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the surah starts off with Musa Alaihi Wasallam uh, seeing a fire in the distance. And he's traveling with his family. So he says, let me go and fetch some fire so that we can cook some food. And when he goes there, uh, he hears Allah uh, commanding him that, you know, Musa, Musa, I've chosen you to be my prophet and I've given you uh, great powers and commands, and I command you to go to Fir'aun and invite him to the right path. And of course, Musa is scared because uh, he had been raised in the house of Fir'aun, and we will come across this in uh, Surah Al-Qasas when we get to that surah, that uh, Fir'aun was killing all the children of the Bani Israel, but um, somehow, and, and of course, Musa ended up being raised in the house of Fir'aun. And then, of course, Musa alayhi salam by mistake kills a man. When he grows up, he kills a man by mistake and he flees from there because they're going to come and kill him. And so when Allah commands him to go to Fir'aun, Musa alayhi salam is worried and scared. He says, well, I had committed a murder. Of course, it was not intentional, but they are going to uh, punish me. And Allah says, no, you go. <clears throat> and he was give, given various uh, miracles. For instance, he was told to put his hand in his... Uh, um, gown and pull it out and it was glowing absolutely white and he told him to throw his staff and that will turn into a serpent etc <clears throat> so he goes to Fir'aun and there is a dramatic encounter in the court of Fir'aun uh, and of course all of the tricks and the, of the magicians are defeated but unfortunately the uh, Fir'aun and his people uh, do not uh, accept the message that Musa salam has brought to them and so the people of Fir'aun are destroyed and Musa and his followers 
are saved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are a lot of more details, but because of shortage of time, we are not going to go into it. But we invite and encourage all of you to please study the Quran and understand it so that we can derive the appropriate lessons. Thank you for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.